I wasn't ready. <laughs> well, it's rolling. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Jody from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm taking over as your main host today, so uh, tune in later because we'll bring back that handsome beast later. Who? You. Aw, shucks. Um, bear with me. I'm still getting over this uh, cold that you guys have been hearing about for a week. I think I'm almost done, so yeah, we should be fine. Anywho, today we're here to talk about and look at the Air Jordan 1 Women's Praline. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. <laughs> no, it's not. Especially when you don't put the packaging back properly, which was all me. <laughs> Oops, sorry. We have the typical women's box decked out in red and black, and then they put in some fancy paper inside. Has cute little basketballs hidden in there. <laughs> As for the main event, here's these pretty ladies all decked out. So I was reading up on it and the reason that it's called the praline, actually I'm not quite sure because pralines, as you know, is a type of candy confection. I know it as pralines and cream, which is where they do it up inside of ice cream. But yeah, it's basically like vanilla, sugar, and some other doodads that they mix into a paste. Wait, a praline's not a nut? At one point I looked it up, it was a nut, and then I just looked it up again, and all they talked about was the candy version. Yeah, it says on Google, nut confection. Yeah, what the it hell says does that mean? praline, French praline, in French confectionery, a cooked mixture of sugar, nuts, and vanilla, often ground to a paste for use as a pastry or candy filling. They also use the word nut meat. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's awesome. So anywho, I'm guessing this shade of color is the praline. I will say, I think it's weird that they keep using this particular color on the women's because I think the last time you guys saw me was for the Jordan 2 Craft. And it was again, a similar color scheme, but they threw in a touch of pink. And I think I liked these better when I saw them in store. And I don't know if it was the lighting or what, but I feel like it's kind of a, um, a skin color and I think that's weird, like band-aids. And so it'll be interesting to see how people wear these out. I will say I really do like what they've done overall. They're saying this is premium leather. I'm gonna throw this. Oh my gosh, that was so close. I to just the wanted the you... viewer to feel like it was coming right at them. <laughs> she can't throw for nothing. They said that the leather is, and the whole package is supposed to be like an elegant woman's handbag. I think the word luxurious was even thrown around. Yeah, I wouldn't consider it premium, but it's at least nice, that praline leather. The white leather is pretty basic. It's what you'd see on typical Jordan ones, similar to the uh, Celtics black toe looking with the green heel. But what I really like is I like that they gave us a silky finish on the liner inside. They're bringing back, according to Chris, the silky style Jordan 1s that they- Oh, just the satin bread. Yes, yeah. and I really liked when they, do, they did a bunch of them for the women a few years back. And so I like that. I think it's nice and it goes well with the laces that they've given. Speaking of the laces- You like those things? I like them done up how they come out of the box. I saw some pictures online where they're all the way done and it's a little bit too much. So I would probably use. It reminds me of the fat era or the fat lace era. From yeah. Like shell toes. So they also come with this cute little box inside that has your regular typical laces, but the silky bows, they're, they went all out with them. It's like a birthday or a Christmas present. They even have little gold aglets at the end. Do you think that's how they tie up? The praline Maybe. candy box. I can I can totally picture like a Godiva box. And those definitely come with bows. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. I was there last week. I know I jumped right into the materials up top, but I completely forgot about the greatest traction of all time. So it's done up in that praline color. And then atop that we have the midsole done up in sale. It's a typical rubber cup sole. If we were able to throw this thing in an x-ray or cut it in half, we should find a polyurethane wedge in the heel. And inside of that, we should find an encapsulated air unit. Atop of all of that, you will find this fake dream cell insole inside. Nothing much to write home about that. They also have some praline color slapped in there as well. Now, as far as fit goes, these do come in women's sizes. And so I picked my typical size six up and I will say that they do fit true to size, even for these troll feet that I own. 
If you are looking to pick these up, they do come out September 13th, which is in about a week. If you happen to be in the Sacramento Elk Grove area, you can go to our local shop, Phenom, and they'll have them there for you. Do make sure that you follow them on Instagram so you can follow their launch procedures because they always change it up a little bit. These do come in at $180, which I just found out, I guess is typical. And I thought that sounded a little pricey. I don't remember them being that much in women's sizes. Yeah, once they launched the women's line, uh, because they are tech for tech, the same as the men's, they are the same exact price as well. So you're not gonna see price variations. I don't know when they went from 170 to 180, but inflation, I guess. Speaking of inflation, we had our niece and nephew in town this weekend, and we took them over to Vans because our niece had a gift card she wanted to use. And they had a sign talking about inflation and how they were actually taking some of their models and bringing the prices down. They're classic models. Yeah. yeah they're to pre-inflation prices, which I thought was pretty interesting and impressive, especially right now when you can't even get chicken. Like it feels like eating out is cheaper than eating in, yes. which wasn't the case like two years ago. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on, but you know, the elite are doing elite things. And the rest of us are just trying to catch up. Oh, there's no catching up. We're we're still trying. <laughs> We're just trying to live is what it is. But yeah, one of the things though that is noticeable as far as the difference between the men and the women's launch or releases, I should say, of the Jordan 1. One is that the Wings logo at the collar, a little bit smaller. The swoosh, also a little bit smaller. And then what they've been doing recently, and I actually don't know why they're doing this, I would like to know, but they've added this weird stitch line to the lockdown flaps at the forefoot. It's it, probably so that it creases there. I have no idea, because this is the crease zone. Maybe it makes it so that it's more flexible there's like a little give there i don't know nah it's just a stitch i think it's aesthetics i just don't know why they would do that it doesn't look bad no i think it's cool i, I had noticed it because i picked up like the i don't know what they're called but my orange ones that are women's so i don't know when they started it but they've been doing it primarily only on women's launches and again i don't know if it's just an aesthetic like feature like hey this is a, a visual cue to let you know that that's a women's uh, shoe but i'm not really sure what it's for it's just weird that it's there but outside of that these are your thing really so like i probably wouldn't wear these they're like weird that's what i'm saying like yeah. i liked them i don't know phenom had some nice lighting that day or something but i was just like <laughs> yeah those are cool and then i brought them home and i start like being like okay i'm gonna have to talk about these and i was like they almost match me i don't know but yeah. i mean i do know like we've been in plenty of stores the last like couple weeks and brown is back so like i understand why this is yeah they're definitely trying to hit all shades of it mm -hmm. uh everyone from new balance to adidas to nike jordan yes. and all that stuff like they've all got a variation of this look so there's just going to be something for everybody which is what i think is the main goal for them yeah is throw everything right at consumers and somebody's going to buy it exactly which is so sustainable Anywho, with all that being said, thank you for being here with us today. Leave a comment down below if you're gonna be grabbing a pair, what you think of them. To give a throwback, if you haven't watched last Friday's video, please do. It was our very first podcast style video and we were both very excited about how everything's been going with it. Stay tuned for this next Friday. We'll have episode two coming, which I'm also really excited about. We have a special guest coming on. So yeah, um, until next time, have a good one. Peace.